All right, folks, this um, video is going to explore um, how to set up our integration with the VTruve VBT system. There will be another video that talks more about the data that um, is produced as a result of the integration. So in your account, you're going to click your profile picture and go to settings. And then on the left, we're going to go to integration. So at the very bottom, we have our VBT devices. I'll go to VTruve, hit connect. And in this case, I'm going to use the correct credential to log in to VTruve. This is the same login that you use to log into your VTruve account. Once you submit, um, you should get uh, a successful connection to VTruve, assuming your uh, username and password is correct. So we'll just take one second here to wait for VTruve to connect. And it did, successfully connected. Okay, so the next step now is to go to Coach Tools and down to Exercises. So what will happen now is Team Builder will import exercises from VTruve into the imported exercise database. So if you're familiar with this, you know that we can introduce new exercises into Team Builder, um, but we can do so by simply moving them or by merging them. Now here's the thing. When I'm looking at these exercises, bench press, clean, deadlift, all these exercises more than likely um, already exist in your team builder account so you don't want to move bench press into your team builder account um, if you already have it you want to merge it so in this case i'll click the merge icon which is the yellow icon and then i'll just look for barbell bench press which is what we call our bench press and then when i select it i'm going to go ahead and use the name description tracking and video from the team builder side and then merge these two together and once i do that bench press should disappear from my imported exercise database. So you just want to go through the list of exercises that have been imported to your database and make sure to um, either merge them or move them into your master database. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about the training calendar. <clears throat> so I've got uh, an athlete, Rocky, that I'm going to use for this example. Um, Rocky has a training session today, but let me just delete this out for this example and make this a blank slate. Did that clear? Oh, I have to clear uh, items originating from the parent calendar. This should clear it off. Okay, great. So barbell bench press, since I merged it in, um, I can go ahead and program barbell bench press and say we're gonna do five by five. Uh, percentages, we'll just have it at 75 across the board. Okay. The next thing we need to know is we have to check on bar speed and we have to check on peak power in order to import uh, these metrics. So make sure that anytime you're programming an exercise that you want data from VTruve to populate, uh, that you check on bar speed and peak power. Okay, so I'll add this in. And then just as another example, let me go back to my exercise database and bring in uh, another exercise uh, from the imported database. So deadlift here, I'm gonna merge in and we're gonna merge it into an exercise, barbell deadlift and deadlift one word, right? And then merge that. So I'm doing this to just show you an example that um, in Team Builder, the way the integration works is that if I program bench press and then I complete the bench press uh, with Rocky's profile on VTruve, then that VBT data is going to be merged into this exercise, right? So we're, Team Builder and VTruve are actually merging the data into the exercise that's already been programmed. However, if Rocky on the VTruve app does a couple sets of deadlift using the VBT device, then Team Builder will actually import that training data. So we're going to import uh, deadlift and import the VBT data that comes with deadlift. So I'm gonna program bench press, I will not program deadlift, but on the VTruve device, on the VTruve software, I'm going to complete my bench press and I'm also going to complete deadlift. And then I'm gonna show you how that appears right here inside of Team Builder. Okay, so I took a moment to program uh, barbell deadlift into VTruve and complete it. So uh, barbell deadlift now appears in Team Builder as if it was programmed because it was completed using the VTruve system. Now, if I go to workout entry and I take a look at Rocky and I go back to the 18th, 
<clears throat> then you'll see that we have bench press. And the only metrics that we populate in workout entry is going to be bar speed and peak power. So in this case, um, I had a 5x5 program, but as you can see here, uh, Rocky did a 185 for only three reps uh, on the set and then re returned to five reps and five reps. Uh, barbell deadlift, um, I did five reps, four reps, four reps, and then this is all logged uh, basically using the VTrue system. So Team Builder will take uh, note of that. So this is uh, workout entry, but the way to view the um, metrics from VTrue would actually be in the reporting section. And it would be uh, first and foremost to use a workout results report. So if I take a look at Rocky as an individual and I go back to the 18th, I just want to take a look at the 18th. Um, then you'll see that we provide peak power, average power, peak speed, average speed uh, right here in this report. So we give you the actual loads and actual reps performed for exercises programmed in Team Builder or performed within VTruve, either way. And then the last way to get this data uh, to uh, render in Team Builder or export it out of Team Builder is to go back to our reporting and to use a raw data report. So when I use a raw data report, same thing, I use Rocky, I just have to choose my date, in this case the 18th, and then I'll click show advanced data. And then from there, I should be able to download this PDF, or I'm sorry, not PDF, a CSV. <coughs> and this CSV is going to uh, show all the metrics associated with all my sets and reps uh, within Team Builder using the VTruve system if I open up that CSV. So any questions about this so far, please you know, send them our way. Again, this is the first iteration of our uh, integration with VTruve. So there will be uh, additional integrations uh, coming, uh, but please let us know um, what you want to see kind of iterated on beyond what we have built so far.